hello everyone welcome in this video let us solve this equation so we have 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 raised to the power t is equal to 5 1 2 and here auto solve for the possible value of t that satisfy this given equation so t is equal to question mark the unknown we're looking for now to solve this solution solution the question is 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 raised to the power t is equal to 5 1 2 now looking at this equation right here 2 right here is the base and also 5 1 2 is the base now we're going to express this 5 1 2 such that it will have a power and to do this 5 1 2 is equal to 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 times 2 64 times 2 is equal to 128 times 2 256 then times 2 is equal to 512 now looking at it we have how many number of 2 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so that means that we have 2 raised to the power 9 now 2 raised to the power 9 is equal to 512 so 512 is equal to 2 raised to the power 9 so we have 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 raised to the power t is equal to now 512 is 2 raised to the power 9. Now to solve this further, what we have done is that we have made the base to be equal on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. So here we have 2 as the base and on the right hand side we have 2 as the base. Now we can then apply a rule that if you have a raised to the power b which equals a raised to the power c since the bases are equal we can simply compare the exponents just that b is equal to c now in this case since the bases are the same we can compare the exponents such that t raised to the power 4 raised to the power t is equal to 9 good now to then solve for t okay looking at t right here on your left hand side and 9 on the right hand side 9 is a perfect square 9 is equal to 30 times 30 which equals 30 square so in the place of 9 we can bring in 30 square so that means that 30 raised to power 4 raised to power t is equal to 30 raised to power 2 now with this we have also made it just that the bases are equal t right here is the base on the left hand side and on the right hand side 30 here is also the base so we can bring in the principle that if you have a raised to power b which equals a raised to power c since the bases are equal we can simply compare the exponents such that b is equal to c now right here the bases are equal 33 30, we can simply compare the exponents now 4 raised to power t is then equal to 2 okay so then solve for t right we are going to okay 4 here is a perfect square and 4 is equal to 2 times 2 and 2 times 2 is equal to 2 squared so 4 is equal to 2 squared so in replace of 4 we can bring in 2 squared so in brackets 4 we then represent 2 squared all raised to power t is equal to 2 at this junction looking at this okay if you have in brackets a raised to power b power of c this is equal to a raised to power b times c Applying this root to this, this then becomes 2 raised to power, we have 2, then times t, which equals 2. Now, since the bases are equal, right, applying the rule that if you have a raised to power b equals a raised to power c, we can simply compare the exponent b is equal to c, right? But then, before we continue, looking at 2 on the right hand side, 2 here has a power, and the power is 1. So, since the power is 1 and the bases are equal, this is the base right here, the base is 2, and on the right hand side, the base is 2, right? Since the base are equal on the both sides of the equation, we can simply compare the exponents such that 2t is equal to 1. Now, to then solve for t, divide both sides by the coefficient of t, which is 2. So, over 2, over 2. 2, we divide 2, you have t 
is equal to 1 over 2. And with this, we've gotten the value of t as 1 over 2. But let's confirm if the value of t as 1 over 2 we satisfy the given equation. Now, the equation is 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 4 raised to power t is equal to 5, 1, 2. Now, the value of t is 1 over 2. So, we have 2 raised to power 3 raised to power 4. Then, t becomes 1 over 2, right? Is equal to 5, 1, 2. So, with this equal 5, 1, 2 question. Now, to confirm, first, to simplify this, right? If you have a raised to power b, raised to power c, raised to power d, raised to power e. To simplify it, you will start from the first two powers. So you start from d and then power of e. Same thing also, you start from the first two powers. So you have 4 and then power of 1 over 2. Now, 4 is equal to 2 squared, then power of 1 over 2. Now with this, you can then multiply the power so that we have 2 raised to power 2 times 1 over 2. Now, 2 we divide 2, you have 2 raised to power 1, which equals 2. So that means that 4 raised to power 1 over 2 is equal to 2, right? So in replace of 4 raised to power 1 over 2, we will bring in 2, right? So that becomes 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2. With this be equal to 5, 1, 2. Now, with this, we have 2, 3 raised to power 2, this one right here is equal to 9, which equals 5, 1, 2. So, with 2 power of 9 equals 5, 1, 2. Now, 2 power of 9 is 2 in 9 places. You have 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16, times 2, 32, times 2, 64, times 2, 1, 2, 8, times 2, 2, 5, 6, times 2, 5, 1, 2. So that means that, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have it as 5, 1, 2 is equal to 5, 1, 2. So that means that, okay, the value of t that we got as 1 over 2 satisfies the given equation. Okay, I hope you all learned one or two from this video. Don't forget to like the video, share the video to your friend. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.